Are you Dan? Because I'm looking for a Dan and you kind of look like him, but not really. Yeah, that's me. Alex? Yep. Well, it's nice to meet you. Sure it is. I take you came straight from work. Yeah, I mean, it's such a busy time at work. There's this client. Initially, we had six weeks to do this project, but then he suddenly calls us and says he wants it done in two weeks. I've been pulling all nighters. I almost had to cancel this too. Wow, that sounds intense. Um, can I get a red piece? I'll have a side. Anyway, don't get me started on it. What about you? I mean, you look like you had time to go home before coming here. Yeah, I was actually just hanging with a couple guys from the office. I mean, we don't really have a dress code or anything. I could wear this to work. They let us wear whatever we want. <laughs> a guy showed up in a banana suit one time. Okay. Yeah. My company's pretty chill. My boss is one of those guys that thinks that you can think better when you're not being suffocated by your clothes. Right. So, Dan, why don't you tell me about you? You know, something nobody knows of. Okay. Like what? Can I just be blunt with you? Okay, so, you know, life is great. As far as paying off my student loans and owning a condo goes, I'm just kind of lacking a little bit in the romance department. You know, that kind of comes with having children and a retirement plan, all that jazz. So I just don't have time to waste with people who are just looking for an adventure. Hey, I know what you mean, I guess. Yeah. My mom's always on my case about finding a nice girl. I'm sorry, your mom. She asked me if I was gay the other day. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that, but... I'm not. I feel like, I don't know. It's not like we're in that age where you're supposed to be settled by the time you're 25 like she did. I mean, I know that. I'm my brother. He's three years younger than me. He had to go and set the tone for how we should all live our lives. He went volunteering in third world countries. Met a reputable, nice girl who takes him around on a leash. Make sure he calls my mom once a week. The girl goes on fish foot treatments for the stepmother stepdaughter bonding time. I'm sorry. What? I mean, did you know there was such a thing as fish that eat the dead skin off the bottom of your feet? I mean, gross, right? How's that a life goal? Well, actually, it's still really important. You know what? I feel you. It's not just my parents, my sister, my ex, my best friend. They just all want me to be with someone. It doesn't even matter who. They could be like the worst person in the world, as long as I'm with them. It's so dumb. I mean, if it's coming from your siblings or your friends, it's probably because they just don't want you to feel alone. Yeah, but I won't feel alone if I get to hang out with them. I mean, that's what they're there for, right? What is the obsession with partners anyways? I thought you said you were looking for that because you felt your life was lacking in that department. Yeah. So I'm confused. You're not really looking for a serious partner to have babies with? <laughs> but you're on a date to find such a person. Oh, Dad. You don't want to figure me out. Now you sound like my complicated ex-girlfriend. And you just broke the first rule of dating. Never talk about your ex. That's for sure. But I'm pretty sure you broke that rule first. You just mentioned your ex, remember? Well, <clears throat> to messy dates and breaking all the dating rules, shall we say? I guess so. Too bad your vote's taken. Sounds like a real catch. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, it wasn't very clear. 
Do you want to take this conversation somewhere else or not? I'm getting mixed messages. I don't want to assume it. I quite like you. Even though you confuse me a little. I have to pass. You seem like such a nice guy. I just... I'm not in the right mindset for anything beyond this. Fair enough. Wait, why? It's a bad breakup or something? Or something. Okay. Uh, are you sure you don't want to do this again sometime? <laughs> you know, meet up, commiserate about the pressure society and family put on us. I just got it right now. I'm sorry. Well. <clears throat> It was very nice to meet you. <sighs> Let's just say I've had better. I mean, he was so sweet. I just... I don't know. I just got him way over my head. I was playing along and he was being so frank with me, I just couldn't feed him all this crap anymore. He even asked if I wanted to move on to somewhere else, too. Wait, Anne? And I said no. Ugh, why must you be such a prude? What do you mean? I'm not a prude. I just, I don't want to sleep with the first nice stranger that shows any form of interest in me. Why not? Sure, he's sweet and everything, but there's no spark. At least you're playing this a bit more responsibly. I'm glad to hear that. You know what you need? You need a blanket, a big tall ice cream, and a giant screen with some cool 80s kid story. And guess what? It just so happens that we're going to a screening of the Goonies at the Carlton. And you know you can't say no to that movie. Mm, no, I'll pass. I'm settling for the night. Oh, come on, don't make us come and get you because you know we will. Hold up. Are you two wearing matching shirts? Ha, <laughs> you are! <laughs> don't change the subject. We'll be there in 15 minutes. I don't want to. Take off my PJs. It's cute PJs, too. What to do?